Oh, hello there. Welcome to the Okanagan Forest Channel. Welcome to my campfire. And welcome to 2017. I want to say hello to all my old subscribers. And I want to say hello to the new ones too. And I want to tell you a little bit about what I hope to do this year. I'm looking forward to uh, doing a follow-up video on the refrigerated reefer container cabin bug out shelter forest home that I have created. After all these years, I think I've finally gotten to the point where it, uh, it's how I like it and I'd like you to see that because I think there's something to learn. Let me also say right at the beginning, I'm not selling anything at all. Everything on my channel is simply ideas for you to enjoy and uh, take advantage of, criticize, and uh, benefit from. This is also a family-friendly channel. So I would uh, hope that you would keep that in mind when you make comments. The other thing that I want to do is I've been using a deadwood stove now for over five years. And I want to go back and do a review of that because it still continues to be one of the best ideas that I've ever found in, uh, in simple forest living and cooking using simple fire and also being prepared for something in the event that there's a difficulty and you need a way to cook your meal, Deadwood stove can't be beat. You know, the other day I was looking at uh, a bushcraft video on YouTube and a lot of them are really good. But what I've discovered is that there's very little frugality in bushcraft with a lot of folks. What I'm thinking of is a wonderful young guy with a, just a fantastic uh, personality about, you know, being in the outdoors and dealing with adversity. He went on a snow camp, built a beautiful shelter, froze the first night, got warmer the second, and then was off some six or seven hundred miles back home again. And he expended tremendous energy uh, building a beautiful camp that he may never use again. And that's where I'm a little bit different. I'm probably twice his age and I've had those experiences before and I've come to realize that there's something to be benefited from having one camp that you set up and you go and do your bushcraft there. I have been using my cabin now, my refrigerated reefer cabin now for 10 years. And I'll challenge anybody come up with a more frugal arrangement both winter and summer. Take a look at the videos and see. The other thing that I don't do is I don't buy $200 bushcraft knives. I don't think it's needed. I think you're much better off if you use your energy and your finances to spend more time in the outdoors. So all these new gadgets, uh, they're fun. They're interesting. And if you're stuck in the city and can't get out, you can expend some money on it, going to the store and buying the stuff. But by and large, you don't need it. What you need is experience and time in the woods. I like to think when I get out on the highway in my car that the best safety device is intelligence. And that's the same way in the woods. Um, if you're prepared and thoughtful, Experience, you're liable to turn out much better both if there's an emergency and if you're just out having fun camping the way I like to do. Well, that's enough for me today. Welcome to the Okanagan Forest Channel and I welcome your I wish to see comments. I'd love to have people make suggestions on how I can do things better because after all this is an educational tool for all of us. So you have a good day, thanks for stopping by, and good luck with your project.